Heather, <laughs> Mrs. Cassidy, you look absolutely stunning today. And I've fallen in love with you all over again. Aww. I can't wait to take this next step on our adventure together. I feel truly privileged to stand here next to you today and call you my wife. Aww. Our journey started with a swipe to the right and a super like. And now five and a half years later, I could not imagine my life without you. I'm constantly amazed by your strength, positivity and your energy. You're always thinking about how you can be the best version of yourself, even in your toughest times, and this makes you truly inspiring. I choose you at your best and at your worst. You are my favourite person, my greatest friend, my soulmate, and I will feel so lucky to now call you my husband. I vow to be faithful and supportive and to make our love and happiness my priority. I vow to be that someone to remind you of how much they love you if life gets hard and to be your anchor when you need one. As we go through life's adventures together, I will love you, appreciate you and never take you or our life together for granted. This is what I promise you forever and always. Give you this ring as a, symbol of our marriage. as a symbol of our marriage. I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. To confide in you. To confide in you. To trust and respect you. To trust and respect you. To be there when you need me most. To be there when you need me most. Always and forever. Always and forever. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage, I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. To confide in you. To confide in you. To trust and respect you. To trust and respect you. To be there when you need me most. To be there when you need me most. Always and forever. Always and forever. As we, uh, as we grew older, we became closer, often wor working together to get around Mum's strict curfews. It was around this time that Heather went off to uni, where she completed an undergraduate degree and later achieved a distinction 
in her master's degree in criminology. I'm tremendously honoured to call Heather my little sister. She is my only and therefore my automatically favourite sibling. <laughs> She's grown up to be an amazing woman. Whilst the rest of us can argue, get grumpy and moan quite a lot, Heather is always kind, patient, understanding and caring. I know when I speak for Mum, Auntie Jane, Jean uh, and myself when I say how proud we are of you and how lucky we are to call you a sister, daughter, niece and cousin. So Chris has certainly become a long way since his younger days and I'm proud to have watched him achieve so much and become the successful and well-rounded man that he is today. And part of this growth I must owe to Heather, she was obviously a keeper. As soon as they began seeing each other, Chris quickly began to buck up his ideas and I'm just happy that they have both found each other and I've no doubt that their marriage will stand the test of time and they will both enjoy an amazing life together. So on behalf of the bridesmaids, the other groomsmen and myself, I would like to thank Chris and Heather again for asking us to play our parts on their special day. I know how hard you have both worked to make this all happen and it really is amazing. If I could ask you all to raise a glass and join me in a toast, congratulations to the happy couple, Chris and Heather. I promise to be there for you and support you through the tough times and the best times, as you have done for me. From Tinder to true romance. I knew you were my person, my forever, so let's take this next step, you and I together. Inspiring, beautiful, talented and clever, I'm proud to stand here and promise myself to you, my Heather. Through thick and thin, grey and old, today at Ashridge, a love story told. Standing here today with my bride, friends and family too, I could not be more proud to say, Heather Adam, I do. Oh.